Hey guys, even here, and this video we are starting with a posing video, a posing update, a physique update of Joseph Benya, who is, as you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger's son. It is really cool to see his son actually practicing bodybuilding, and he is really doing uh, this posing routine quite well. I mean, he is learning how to pose, and this is, of course, the way Arnold was posing himself. And you can see some resemblance, physique-wise and face-wise as well. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if we talk about can he be a good pro in classic physique, I don't really see that, but I don't know, he's natural right now, as far as I know, still, and I think he's pretty young, he's like 20, 20 something, so when he starts juicing, and if he really devotes himself to bodybuilding fully, uh, maybe, maybe he can become a good pro, I don't know, but as for now, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, unless he's like a hyper responder and he, and he gains like 20 30 pounds of muscle after one cycle so for now i mean based on this video he's not very close to achieving a good a good result in classic physique as a competitive bodybuilder but uh, he is performing his father's posing routine quite well here and you can see some physique resemblance especially in the shoulders the arms i think joseph has a little bit better genetically better triceps than arnold used to have uh, the vacuum also looks a lot like Arnold's, and uh, the waist is a little bit thicker like Arnold's. So, I mean, overall, you can see it. You can basically notice that there is some resemblance, physique-wise, and, of course, uh, facial resemblance is, uh, is present, too. Of course, I mean, he's his father's son, <laughs> but, uh, again, is he a potential like Hunter Labrada is, or Sergio Oliva Jr.? I mean, Lee Labrada and uh, Sergio Oliva Sr. were great bodybuilders, and their sons took it to a different level. I don't know if they're gonna have the same results as their fathers used to have, but they do look much better than their fathers used to. I mean, they're much bigger and more conditioned and stuff like that. Not necessarily more conditioned in both cases. Lila Brada was really conditioned, but he was way smaller than Hunter. And Sergio Oliva Sr. could have been bigger in some areas, but he wasn't as conditioned as Sergio Oliva Jr. is. And now the question is, can Joseph Benya surpass his father Arnold Schwarzenegger? I think a good way to answer that question is by showing you a photo. So I'm gonna first tell you that Joseph Benya was born in 1997, making him 24 this year. And this was Arnold at 20. <laughs> I know, I know, pretty depressing, right? And you guys know that Arnold was amazing when he was 15. But he was really driven. He was really focused on bodybuilding from a very early, from a very young age. So of course he developed his physique this much. I mean, not of course. There is so many guys that are training just as hard or even harder than him, and they cannot achieve nothing like this. So Arnold was a freak. He was a freak of nature. He was a phenomenon. Really, it's something that you don't really see happen very often. So can his son? <laughs> surpass him no way nah not happening unless he's some kind of magical super responder uh, like kevin leveroni times 10 so if that is the case then maybe but uh, i don't see that happening anyways he is learning how to pose and he is practicing his father's posing routine and it looks really awesome it's really great to see him involved in the fitness industry and bodybuilding world and i really do hope to see joseph benya on classic physique stage one day if I found out he was doing a classic physique show, I would definitely jump into that show. And it would be a pleasure, you know, competing against Arnold's son. And I think many, many people would try to get to that show. And compete against Arnold's son. Wouldn't that be amazing? So I mentioned Sergio Oliva Jr. And yesterday I made a video about him. A physique update. As you can see, it, this photo was posted one day ago. And one of my followers got really bored. And he did some research and he found out that Sergio Oliva was actually posting old photos. This photo was posted last year, 2020, the same photo. So Sergio Oliva Jr. is playing games, he's posting old photos. I guess he's trying to confuse his competition by showing what he looked like last year. Does that mean he's gonna look better this year and he's hiding that? Or does it mean that he wants us to think that he's already in shape and he's... Not, I don't know what is the case, but apparently this is an old photo. And he didn't stress that it's an old photo, he didn't say anything. So it's some kind of a game. And I'm sure he wasn't counting on people getting so bored to actually do a research and check the old photos. And he didn't bother to delete the old one. 
And yeah, apparently he posted an old photo. That's not what he looks like. I withdraw what I said in my previous video if it's not too late. But yeah, an older photo. Unfortunately, Sergio Oliva does not look like this right now. What does he look like right now? I have no idea, really. I hope he will clarify this and he will show us a real physique update real soon. And if not, we're gonna see him on stage in about 10 weeks, 9 to 10 weeks at Chicago Pro against Hakeem Williams, Hunter Labrada and the others. Lately we have been watching the transformation of Hafter Bjornsson, Thor, and this time around these new photos of him as he is one day out of his next uh, fight, he looks like a future man's physique competitor. I mean a physique competitor, and if I had to choose a category for him, I definitely wouldn't choose a category where he shows his legs, because he doesn't really have good legs, but he does have great abs, as you can see, who would who would know that he has, uh, that his abs are actually looking this aesthetic when he gets lean, and also decent chest and, and wide shoulders, and actually a pretty small waist, which is something I would not expect from a strongman competitor. Another reason why I wouldn't choose a classic physique or bodybuilding division for him, he has no biceps. I mean, his biceps in the front of the bicep right here, they don't look very good. I mean, sure, he could make them look a little bit better if he tweaked the pose a little bit. I mean, if he pushed the elbows forward, making his lats pop a little bit more and his arms closer to the eyes, so they would look a little bit bigger compared to the rest of his body and some things like that he could do to make the pose a little bit better. But yeah, obviously his arms are not very good. In a relaxed pose, he does look pretty aesthetic, surprisingly. With those crazy wide shoulders, uh, very, very developed and uh, symmetrical and also well-shaped abs and also with, uh, with a little bit flaring lats, but flaring enough and also squarish, square-shaped chest and, you know, his arms and forearms are looking pretty decent in, in this pose as well. He could do, I mean, he could do quite decent in, in man's physique category. I mean, I'm not saying he would do well in the category, of course, he's like seven foot, I don't know, he's very, very tall, but uh, if I had to choose a category for him, it would be his best, his best option, but I'm not saying he's gonna do anything like that, I don't think so, there is no talk about that, I'm just looking at his physique from a bodybuilding standpoint, because that's what my channel is all about, it's about bodybuilding, it's not about fights, or strongmen, or powerlifting, or whatever, I mean, I like all of those things, but I'm not an expert in those, I'm not an expert in bodybuilding either, but... I'm a fan and I have some things to say, so that's what I'm gonna talk about. And this selfie, this mirror selfie really shows how much weight he lost. I'm not exactly sure about the number, but he's not a half of a man he was before. I mean, he looks so much smaller now. Very, very lean, looks very, very aesthetic, but he was a monster before. He's not a monster anymore. Uh, he is a monster compared to regular people, but not, to, not compared to other strongmen and bodybuilders. So he was a monster among strongmen, like, nobody was as big as him, he was like 200 kilos, which is about 450 pounds. I don't know how much he weighs right now, but he does look much smaller, much leaner, and quite aesthetic, I had to say. But come on, wouldn't you love to see Jeremy Buendia at his comeback against Hafter Bjornsson's men's physique debut? What a great show would that make, right? And here is Jeremy. He is 175 pounds right now, and I think he was competing at about 180, something like that. I don't think he was getting over 200, 210, 20, maybe in the off season, and he looks very lean right now. I mean, uh, as the time goes on after his surgery, he looks bigger and bigger, fuller and fuller. He is getting some of his gains back. I don't know when he's going to be competing again. Uh, Mr. Olympia LLC actually shared this photo, and they asked us, the audience, Will we see a comeback of Jeremy Boendia? And there was also a good question in the comments. Why is he allowed to compete and Sean Roden isn't? Because he was also accused of some domestic abuse. His girlfriend accused him of uh, beating her, basically. So if that's the case, why isn't he banned from competing? But Sean Roden is. That was a good question, but I don't want to see any more bodybuilders banned from competing. I'm happy that... Buendia is actually allowed to compete, I just want to see Sean there as well. But Jeremy, right now, he's getting back his gains, he looks better and better with each, with each post, 
Uh, his face does look a little bit weird. I don't know if he looked like this before. I mean, is it just me? Maybe he just uh, made a, a weird facial expression. But lately, all those posts and videos, his face looks a little bit different than before. Maybe just because he lost the weight. I don't know. Forget about a face. I mean, who cares about a face? This is a physique we're looking at. And I want to say I would love to see him back on stage, but really I don't really care too much about man's physique. I'm probably not going to watch that show, but I know about him because he went through a lot of drama lately. And that's why I'm mentioning him in this video, because a lot of you guys know about him as well. And I'm sure there is a lot of man's physique uh, followers on my channel too. So if you guys want to see what he looks like, here it is. Am I excited about seeing him on stage? Not really. In classic physique though, I would love to see that. But in man's physique, not really a fan of that division, to be honest. I wanna do a little quick update of Bampa Kolski right now, and this is what he looks like in 2021, if you guys were interested. So you can see right here, uh, he lost a lot of gains, a lot of gains. He was a freak bodybuilder back in the day, now he looks like a pretty much regular dude. You can see some bicep right there, but he probably made it look bigger than it is by flexing his arm, putting it close to his body, and also his chest is kind of uh, still there, but other than that, he looks like a regular dude who trains, really. So it's a shame to see bodybuilders lose their gains like this, but it is what it is. I mean, he's retired, he doesn't want to compete anymore, he devoted his life to studying and educating people, and you can really learn a lot from him, he's really smart, really educated. I personally learned a lot from him about training, so I definitely recommend following him. But as far as his physique and his competitive days, they are in the past. He is not going to be competing probably ever again, and he did lose a lot of muscle. So take a look, this is Ben Pokolsky right now. And for the end, I had to mention this. So, Dusty Henshaw, if you guys don't know who he is, he's a professional bodybuilder. He's a beast, he's a huge guy, he has a podcast too. Those of you who know him, who follow him, you know what I'm gonna say right now, but those of you who don't, apparently he has some medical issues, some serious medical issues. So there is a GoFundMe campaign, if you guys wanna donate, go to his Instagram account, you will see it in the description. So his friend basically made a GoFundMe, not him, because he is in a coma as far as I understood, he is not conscious right now. Uh, he actually ate a piece of steak that was... Uh, it got stuck in his esophagus and apparently it caused a rupture right there and that caused more issues and he had some operations and now he's breathing on a tube, he's being fed by a tube as well, so he's unconscious for a long time, you know, so that, that was on May 13th when it happened, so it's been quite a while since then. And he is still unconscious, and the medical bills are getting bigger and bigger, so he needs money. And if you guys want to help out, go to his GoFundMe and donate some money if you can. So again, the reason for him being in a hospital and not being conscious is esophagus rupture. So it's nothing related to gear, as many would assume. Apparently, as far as we know, it's what, I, what they're saying. Uh, I hope they're not lying, but that's what they're saying, it's nothing related to the gear, it's just uh, a really bad rupture in his esophagus, so that, that's pretty scary, and I hope he's gonna recover, and if you guys wanna donate, you can go ahead and do that. So I wanted to update you with this as well, and that's gonna be the last news in this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like it, and if you want to see more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel, all the best guys, and bye bye.